Hello family, friends. Here I am in Kenya. You can enjoy the beauty behind me. I'm here for the third time. Some of you may be wondering what can you do three times in Kenya? But if we look back to John chapter 21, when Jesus resurrected from the dead and he went back to meet with his disciples and Jesus asked Peter, he said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, Jesus, I love you. And what Jesus replied to Peter was, feed my sheep. And that's exactly what we're doing here today in Kenya. We are feeding the sheep of Christ, the body of Christ. Being here is answering the call of God and the great commission he gave to all of his people, to all of his children, which is to go out and speak the praises of his name. Whoa, wait, 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 Sam, this is the We just returned back from doing a training in the desert for six days with people throughout Kenya, Ethiopia, and Sudan. Many are actually shepherds. They live out in this desert. They raise goats, camels, and that is how they make a living. And we got them together during the training and began to ask them about their lives. In fact, many of them in the past used to be at war with each other. They used to fight with the other tribes. And less than a year ago, they used to steal from one another, kill each other. Now God brought them together as one community as one nation under God and they sat together and they learned the Word of God and they were united just as the Word of God says that the people of God went out in the desert and they raised the flocks and they are also raising the kingdom of God at the same time we had 17 bishops 12 from Ethiopia five from Sudan and it was truly a life-changing experience for all of us together. On day one, we talked to each of them and we asked them, what is their attitude? What is their outlook towards children? And sadly, many of them said that children today are not welcome in the communities in Africa. They're not welcome in the churches. In fact, many of them honestly said that they don't even want to hear the noise of children near the church because they view it as a distraction from the work that they are doing. Not only was this a six day training, but it was a six day encounter that they had with God. When we were going through the preaching of the cross and we began to pray and apply the blood over our lives, they began to cry out to God, to ask him to change their destinies, change the way they look at life. When we were praying for the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God just came down and one of the men as he was praying and he was overcome with so much joy that he began to jump up and down with all of his might and we honestly praise God because 18 people were able to receive Holy Spirit for the first time and they got to know God on a completely different level. It was very funny and interesting to see when we sent out the adults to go out and get the kids and to do a Sunday school for the first time with them. Some of the kids had so much fear that they were running away from the adults and the adults were chasing them over the church property. But by the time they went through this class and they saw how much the love for the adults was shifted toward them. How they got down on the level of the kids and they made funny noises and pretended they were sheep and they were birds and they were laughing with the kids and jumping with the kids. By the time the kids left these Sunday schools, their smiles were from the beginning of their face to the end. You can tell there was an indescribable joy. And when the adults came back, you can see that they didn't have the same hearts they had on day one. Something inside of them was different. They were playing outside and teaching the kids for over an hour and we were already calling them to come back. And they just had these big, big smiles upon their faces. And you can see that there was a shift inside of their mentality and it was no longer them just trying to accept the kids, but God truly planted a seed of love inside of them, inside of their communities. And we truly believe that in these 83 churches that were attending this training, that this is the beginning of a shift in the atmosphere in Kenya and Ethiopia and Sudan, and that the word of God is going to spread out throughout these generations, throughout these countries. And thank you, church. Thank you, friends, family, for being with us, for supporting us, and for doing this together, because together, 
We are spreading the word of God. We are changing the world and we are making the name of our award known. So may to God be the glory, honor, and praise.